Hello, in this video I want to show you a book that I have on college algebra. This is College Algebra by Rosenbach and Whitman. And this is an education manual. So this was something that was reprinted for the United States Armed Forces Institute. So this book, College Algebra by Rosenbach and Whitman, was reprinted and turned into an education manual for the United States Armed Forces Institute. The United States Armed Forces Institute was founded in April of 1942 as the Army Institute, and it survived for many years. So 1942, April, that was during World War II. So that's when this educational institution was founded, and they provided education and, I believe, testing services to you know people in this institute in the Europe, in the United States, in the Caribbean, Hawaii, etc. It's a really big organization. I don't really know much else about it. I don't know why it ceased to exist, but I think it's interesting that you know there was an institute like that, and they took American textbooks, so they specifically focused on American textbooks, and they reprinted those and turned them into education manuals. And so far, all of these books that I have looked at, all of the education manuals that I have, because I have several, like I collect books, are excellent. And my thinking is this. The people who worked at the United States Armed Forces Institute, they sat around a room and they probably said, hey, we need a really good college algebra book that we can you know, create for people in you know, the United States Armed Forces Institute. These are people who are probably training to go into the army or they're in the army. I'm not really sure. So they picked the best books they could. And so the result is you have these reprinted books in phenomenal quality, by the way. This book is really beat up and old, and I just got to give it a whiff. I'm sorry. It smells so good. Ah, it smells so old. But it's like a weird soft cover. It's, it's like a tough book because it's for the Armed Forces Institute. This book has answers to all of the odd number problems, okay, which is really good, and it's got tons of exercises. Let's take a look at the inside of this book so you can see what it's like. I don't know if you'll be able to find this book. Like if you go online and you search for this book on Google after watching this video, I don't think you'll be able to find it in case you're interested, but you might. In any case, I will look for it and will leave a link in the description. And if I can't find this exact education manual, I'll try to find the book because you can probably find the book. I've, I've never really looked. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up because it was a famous book. Right, they reprint famous books, so probably there are many copies. What's this say? End of course test. When you feel prepared, you may take a USAFI, United States Armed Forces Institute, end of course test for which you will receive a report of your score. USAFI end of course test may be obtained as follows, and here it gives you directions for obtaining the test. Yeah, Madison, Wisconsin, that was the headquarters of the United States Armed Forces Institute. I really wonder what happened to them. There's not much information about them on Wikipedia. It's just like a little blurb. Uh, it doesn't really tell you much. College Algebra by Rosenbach and Whitman. Reprinted for the United States Armed Forces Institute. I, think, I just think it's awesome that the United States you know, Army or some association of it was, was reprinting great math books for people. I think that's such a good thing for the world and for the country. Uh, it's just really cool. Copyright 1949 by Jen and Company. So this one must be from 1949. And then we have 39 and 33. Education manuals are reprints of standard American textbooks. The statements and opinions are those of the authors. These reprints are not available for sale by the superintendent of documents. And here it talks a little bit about the book. We're going to skip that. Let's just go straight to the contents and look at some of the actual math. If you know some math, you'll be pleasantly surprised by this book. It does also have some interesting examples. I do feel like the difficulty level is slightly harder than modern college algebra books, which makes sense. Over time, uh, books have gotten a little bit easier and easier, but the explanations in some cases have gotten better. Fundamental operations, factoring and fractions, exponents and radicals, functions and their graphs, equations and their solutions, and then systems of linear equations, quadratic equations, Systems of equations involving quadratics, ratio, proportion, and variation, progressions, mathematical induction, and the binomial theorem, inequalities, complex numbers, theory of equations, logarithms, interest in annuities, permutations, combinations, and probability, determinants, partial fractions, infinite series, 
some tables, answers, and an index. And the index is quite good. And you have answers to all of the odd numbered exercises, which makes it great for self-study. Not only that, there's a ton of exercises. So it's a textbook. This is not a workbook. It's a textbook. It's got textbook level problems in the sense that you're just getting tons of exercises. It's got a lot of content. Workbooks usually have less content. This has a ton of math in it. Look at all of these exercises. Tons of exercises here. Let's jump to some examples, see what we can find. I'm just going to open it up to a random place where we find an example. Here's an example here. What's this say? Form an equation with integral coefficients. That means that the coefficients are integers, which has the following roots and no others. Oh, beautiful. Negative one half. One is a double root. <laughs> one plus i and one minus i. Well, they're being nice. They could have just said one plus i. And then you would know that because 1 plus i is a root, so must 1 minus i because complex roots come in conjugate pairs. That's uh, often a question you'll see in a college algebra class, but it's certainly a harder one, and they're giving you 1 as a double root. Now, this problem is one that students usually struggle with. So here they give you any equation of the form. Yep. Has the given roots and no others. Yep. Cool. And then they tell you, if a sub 0 equals 2, then this equation may be written as desired. Yeah, a lot of textbooks, they'll give you a condition, and you have to, find, you have to solve for a sub 0. So this is a, considered a harder college algebra problem. What's this one here? Find the values of the constants a and b in the identity. Okay, that's, that's useful. This, this is basically called equating coefficients. Oh, here it even says it, equating coefficients of like powers of x. Yeah, this is very useful um, when you're studying partial fraction decomposition. It's also very useful when you're studying differential equations. There's something called the method of undetermined coefficients. And certain problems lend themselves to doing partial fractions by the method of equating coefficients. So the stuff you learn in this book applies to other areas of math, which makes it beautiful. Solve each of the following equations having, having given the roots indicated. So here we have x cubed plus x squared plus 2 equals 4x. And tell us 1 is a root. So for this problem, you would use synthetic division using the knowledge that 1 is a root because that tells you that x minus 1 is a factor. And then you get a remainder of 0 and it reduces your cubic into a quadratic and then you can solve it. That was a lot of information, but just just sharing some knowledge. If you don't understand that, don't don't feel bad. It's okay. If you understand that, then you're like, oh yeah, that totally makes sense. So, <laughs> so you know, no worries if you don't understand. It. The book explains it, right? The book explains all of this. It's a college algebra book. This is interesting. The section on inequalities. I was looking at this the other day. It actually has proofs. Look at this. Here's an example. Prove that a squared plus one over a squared is greater than two, if a is greater than zero and a is not equal to one, and then. Here they go through the proof. And then here you have like lots of little, you know, proofs. Uh, it's page 247. I don't think there's answers to the proofs. That's typical. Let's just double check, but I'm pretty sure there's not. Um, usually there's not in textbooks. Some books do, but most don't. Yeah. Yeah, there's just, see, there, that's just one answer there. Number 19, you get an answer, but what was 19? Yeah, which is larger. <laughs> so... It's a which is large. It's not even a proof. So, yeah, very, very typical. But tons of mathematics. Look at these. Look at these equations. Wow, right? Just really cool. Really wonderful. Here's uh, equations in quadratic form. So this is something you study in college algebra. So you have a couple examples here. x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4 equals 0 is a quadratic in x squared. And then the next one's a quadratic in x to the negative 3. And the third one is harder. It's a quadratic in the fourth root of x minus 1. So check this out. Their first example, okay, it's pretty innocent looking, kind of. You make a substitution. Modern textbooks often use the letter u instead of y. And you turn it into a quadratic, y squared minus 7y minus 8 equals 0. And then you factor. And then this is really interesting. Look, here you use the difference of cubes formula. Then here you use the sum of cubes formula. So this requires a substitution, so turn it into a quadratic, and then you use both the difference and sum of cubes factoring formulas. And this is example one, right? The United States Armed Forces Institute does not mess around, right? I love this book. It's so hardcore. I'm sorry, I just got to give it a whiff here. Just, ah, ah, it's just so good to see such beautiful math. And it just explains so well. Look at that. Just great problems, right? Great exercises. Great for self-study. Yeah, it's one of the older books that's better. There's a lot of good, book, older books that 
are good, but they're just, they're not as easy as this one. This one has really nice worked out examples and it's great for self-study in my opinion. But yeah, unfortunately, this is probably hard to find. Like I mentioned, I, it's, if you Google it, you probably won't find it. I will search uh, and I will see what I can find. Maybe, maybe the regular book, which is interesting also, is more widely available because it was a standard American textbook. It was probably widely popular and obviously very, very good, which is probably why the people at the United States Armed Forces Institute chose to reprint this book out of all of the other books as their college algebra book. So yeah, awesome. Anyways, just showing you a book from my collection. Yeah, it's exciting. I love these books. Until next time, good luck.